True Crime with Tale of the Sight World of YouTube. Going over the orb I believe I found in the house sitting high on Mount Wachusett. Now, as long as I've been ghost hunting, even being in the uh, Gardner Mansion, did not experience anything like this. Now, this is definitely not no goddamn um, dust particle speck. There is no way this could be any um, light altercation or not altercation, light altering through this house. Because as you can see, different angles. Well, this one didn't come out with good with my screenshot, but as you can see, it clearly blends in with the wall, but there's no light down that hallway. There's no light in this room, and there's definitely no light. There is a window behind me in the video, if you've seen it, but, uh, yeah, that, even that light. And even though I did wipe the lens and this disappeared... There's no explanation of what could have stuck on the lens for this to happen. I mean, at one point, I reach out and it looks like I'm touching the damn thing. But what I think, for it not being on the lens, I do think one thing of, like I said, with the bright light, and who knows how long this spirit has been restless in this house. But even as you can see here, it's lighter here. And it's darker here. And there's parts in the video that you can see through this. As it's obviously multiply changing colors, but... I don't know. Yeah, right there. You can see right on. God damn you. No. Are you serious? You can see right through that. Now, if this was a dust particle or any type of thing that might have fell on the goddamn lens, you would not be able to see through it. Orbs, you can see through. And right there, right there, you can see that. What is that? I don't know, that looks like a... Maybe something was hung on that ceiling. Maybe like drying clothes, I want to say. But whatever the case is, though, you can see it right through there. And orbs do that. You can see through them. Dust particles you can't see through. Anything, I mean, I I just am baffled of what kind of orb this is, but it literally latched to the light, and that's what I'm going with. It seen that light, and it was just stuck there. All up until the point when I took my finger across the lens, but still, there, what, there's nothing... That could have fell on the lens and you could see right through it. There's nothing that could possibly be. And like I said, not even a goddamn dust particle. I would imagine so. I ain't never had this happen, so I'm still in the midst of it all. But where I can perfectly see through it, I'm definitely going with that's a goddamn orb. It's just trying to figure out what kind of bluish white orb and the colors of orbs. I know red's evil. Pure white. And the bigger they are, I guess the bigger a guardian angel. Green, they're a typical orb too. And um, I got two different 
stories out of the green orb. And one of them is Native American spirits. The other one is supposedly a peaceful orb or something. I forget what it was, but I go more with the Native American side due to the fact on Route 66 there's a green orb that does protect something out in the uh, western part way of a mountain, mind you, that I read a story of. But this color orb is just... Mm, I'm sure it's not bad, but whatever it is, it wanted to be seen, and it stuck, the, it, it saw that light, and as you can see, this is lit up with my lead light, and I just found out, like I said, I think I said this before, but I'll say it again, I was messing around with my flashlight, and I noticed that when you drag the bar across for the brightness of the light, mine was only halfway, so I said, eh, maybe I'll just drag it full, and of course, it got brighter. And, like I say, if you want to attract ghosts, you need that bright light. That's why I think I go out and I do attract orbs and spirits because they see that damn light shining. And it's, and it's um, you know, not like a light from a house, of course, last night. I have to put up a video I did last night. I didn't catch much out of it, but I did catch two distinctive orbs. Well, there was a bunch of them in there, but two distinctive ones that came out. I got to load up that video. and um, There was three things at the end of the video that came out. And um, I show lights that shine off in the distance from two houses. And it was not the houses doing this, of course. But you can tell that the distant lighting of a house, which one of them looked friggin' yellow. You know, the bright light has to be pure white for any spirit to come forth. And that's what supposedly is said to be in the book of God when you write. Which I don't, believe me, I don't have much on religion but I respect everybody's religion. And of course, when they say you see that bright light, it's pure white. And that's what ancient history, you know, family or past people believe in. And be that being said, with my bright light shining in this house, something awoken, boy. And there's a bunch, a lot of other... Um, Anyways, um, like I was saying, it's the distinctive light that brings these spirits forward. This, this one wanted to be seen. Now, I do plan, I didn't get back there last night, of course, Friday the 13th. But now that I know that there's something in there, I don't, I can go any forgiven day and catch something. But like I say, I, I want to get back here. I've been, as soon as I found this house, I knew and I felt something as soon as I seen it. And yeah, I got to get back at night. Like I said, as much as it's dark as it was that day, it was, was it going sundown. Even though there was no sun out, it was getting darker. But it doesn't matter what, I mean, I, I just want to get out there at night. And plus, I had my kids out there, and I didn't. I wasn't expecting to really do a long video, but I did, and I'm glad I did, because this, this, oh, reason right here. It doesn't matter really what part of the day I go, but I like going at night because the spirits are more restless. And I mean, you don't. I mean, you do hear st stories of spirits being out during the day, but. They're more better at night, man. And like I said, I want to get out there and see what happens with this again. It was like I opened that door, which is, uh, ah, damn it. It's off to the uh, left on this. There's a door and it's like attic space. 
as you so-called say, because this was up in the uh, highest, and I'm sure this was might have been an attic that was, you know, we we um renovated in two rooms. And I don't know why they didn't go over more with this wall to make a wider hallway or even more of a room. But there's a section in that piece of that that I show in the video that, yeah, just the uh, maybe they used it for storage, whatever. But as you can see clearly in the video, it had in the insulation, and if you would walk on it, and where there's no wood on it, yeah, you'd fall through the freaking ceiling. So. And why they have that all closed off is beyond me, but something being in there? Oh, oh. Like I say, mountains hold a lot of dark secrets, too. And I believe Mount Wachusett's got a lot of secrets hidden up there. And there could rightfully be goddamn murders up in that place, too, man. And this house, like I said, this house, I don't know... As soon as I seen it, I got a vibe, and usually when I feel stuff, I get that feeling, and bang, there it is. There's my proof right there. When I feel something, it's trying to communicate, and it did yesterday. And I finally stopped in to pay that visit, because it was trying to communicate. So, with that being said, night video hopefully coming soon. Actually, tonight I think I'm going out to the Lollipop Graveyard, Shaker Graveyard in Harvard, Mass. I think I'm going to go out there tonight. Because now, not only if anybody wants to check out my video of a true story that happened to me called Boy Left at Cemetery. True story. Check it out. I never heard anything about it. Up until, I want to say, maybe last year or the year before, I did finally something had come up that the place is haunted. Due to the fact that there's a friggin' house across the street from it. I've been sketchy about it, but you know what? Well, I've been going in friggin' graveyards lately and houses across the street. You know what? I'm going to give it a shot. But I was, you check out my video. Check out the age that I was when I got left at that cemetery. And of course not knowing. And now there's that and today if I was looking up another cemetery in Harvard that I put that I'm gonna be putting up that I visit today and I was looking to see if that was haunted. Once again this uh cemetery I got left at is saying to be haunted again. Another article. Yet again another article so I think I'll be going there tonight. Of course, the warm weather throughout November indicates Native American summer, a.k.a., which you got to stop using it, but everybody knows it as Indian summer. And that's what this warm weather means and a lot of restless spirits around this area. And in Harvard... Native Americans getting their land stolen. And I'm about to wonder if this house up on the hill could have been rightfully owned. And now right. Taken. And now they're hunting. But, till that next video, be safe, take care, always beware. And always believe. As you can see, what's that? That is a perfectly perfect. Perfect. Wanting to be seen orb. And as you can see at the top of that, you can see through that too. See it? The little black line that covers the... Oh, man. This cannot be nothing other than an orb. Getting closer to unrevealing the other side. Out.